Hey everyone, so for today's video, I wanted to jump on here and give you a quick review of the Stila Convertible Lip and Cheek Color. This is actually day two of one week of cream blushes. So if you guys are new to my channel, I really became kind of obsessed with cream blush this summer. I will link down below the playlist I have with all of my reviews down there. And I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to learn more about the Stila Convertible Lip and Cheek Color, then and you're in the right place and we will just jump right in oh and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to see more so the stila convertible lip and cheek color retails for 25 dollars get 0.15 ounces this is a pretty expensive product when you break it down price per ounce um because you get so little product in this compact that being said, I think that's kind of the name of the game with a lot of cream blushes out there held in a compact. Um, actually, the product that I reviewed yesterday, Honest Beauty, their product is pretty affordable, but if you break it down price per ounce because there's not a lot you get, it is like slightly more expensive. I would kind of consider it to be a little bit more expensive. But then again, I think a lot of us, we like to get a lot of different shades with our blushes. So if you want a couple of different shades and you know you're not gonna go through all of it very quickly, that might be a good way to go. So these blushes come in four different shades. I have the shade Lilium. This is a really, really pretty, dusty rose everyday color that I really, really like. And on my skin tone tends to be what I reach for every single day. So I wanted to get a color that I would get a lot of use out of. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. I am going to be focusing this review on how this wears as a cheek product. I tend to not like two-in-one products, so I really haven't tested this out a lot on my lips. This is meant to be a very creamy, easy to blend product that will give you a very healthy looking cheek. As for the actual texture, I do feel like this is very creamy and I am actually surprised with how lightweight it is. It doesn't feel like a lot of cheek product once it's actually applied and it does give you a nice little glow. I would say that this is a little bit more of a dewy blush. It definitely gives your cheek that healthy the um, just pinched look with that sort of dewiness that I think a lot of you like. I tend to like a blush that's a little bit more on the dewy side and in general I feel like this one definitely gives a very healthy look to the cheeks. This is a very sheer blush so it's great for every day if you just want to apply some and be right out the door because you don't have to fuss with a lot of pigment and blending out a lot of pigment. Next, with more pigment you get a little bit more bang for your buck so it is, again, personal preference here. I personally love to apply this just with a sponge straight from the compact. Really, really blends out easily and it looks very fresh on the skin. I never have trouble blending this product out um, because of the pigment, but also the texture is very easy to blend, very creamy. While applying this and while wearing it, I do understand why I feel like this is a cult favorite product and people have really been loving it for a long time. This isn't a new product. Product. This has been in Stila's line for a really long time and I see why. I think there have been so many cream blushes that give just, they're so waxy and give such an awkward, awful look to the skin, just to be honest. Um, when a cream blush has too much wax in it, it can kind of pick up the hair on your face. It can look really choppy. And I understand why this one has been used for so long. The texture, the color selection, Everything feels very effortless to me and very easy to blend. I just really like the way it makes my cheeks look. I always look healthy when I have it applied. I do think that this is a great everyday cheek product. It isn't the most long wear thing out there. So if you're looking for a blush with some impact that is going to last you all day, I don't think that this is necessarily the one I would choose for a recommendation. It looks really pretty and natural, perfect for everyday makeup looks and no makeup makeup looks. I don't think that this has the lasting power of some other cream blushes out there. I have to say as a whole, I see why people really like this and I'm really glad that I tried it because I do feel like this is kind of a, a diamond in the rough in a sense. When so many other brands didn't have a really natural, pretty cheek color, this was one that people could always go to. If we think about blush and how it's finally, I feel, making a comeback, there were so many blushes that 
really made the skin look chalky or just kind of looked like a lot of pigment in one spot and i think that this is kind of like the anti bad blush blush like when i imagine a really natural pretty easy to wear blush this is definitely one that i think of definitely recommend it i do think there are more affordable options out there i kind of go back to thinking about the milk makeup lip and cheek color you get an entire ounce for 25 dollars, and this is only 0.15 so there are other options out there at a better price point but it doesn't mean that this isn't a really pretty formula i hope that today's video was helpful and definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up if it was and of course leave your comments down below have you guys tried this one and what shade did you pick i actually really like william and now i'm kind of thinking about other shades like i need any more cream blushes i literally just bought seven um <laughs> for this series but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed today's video Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do, and I will hopefully see you in tomorrow's one week of cream blush video.